So, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Siobhan Mullally. I'm Director of the Centre for Criminal Justice and Human Rights here in UCC. Um, we're delighted to welcome you to this afternoon's seminar on uh, climate justice and adaptation strategies linking global and local uh, initiatives. Um, the Centre for Criminal Justice and Human Rights, for those of you who are not familiar with us, um, we were established in 2006 and one of the aims of the Centre is to make a contribution to current debates on law reform and public policy um, and to engage with those um, both at local, local and global level. So um, the title of today's seminar I think is particularly apt. Um, we've also always strived to uh, engage in kind of interdisciplinary conversations and to work with civil society and public bodies, um, both in our research um, and in our teaching and in research seminars and events like this. Um, so we're delighted uh, to bring together um, this group of people for this afternoon. Um, I should just say that uh, this afternoon's seminar is linked to um, a wider uh, EU cost program um, that we're involved with in the department, um, which specifically focuses on issues of climate migration and the particular strand that uh, we work on is the knowledge, law and policy strand. Um, and that's looking at issues around climate change and migration linked to that. Um, and then the particular focus of this afternoon is this concept of climate justice and then this whole question of what has been termed adaptation strategies. And the migration debate is very much part of that, but of course is, is only part of that. Um, this afternoon's seminar has been organised entirely uh, by my colleague, uh, Dr. Doug Kuby, um, who also works on the, the COST um, project. And we will be uh, meeting tomorrow with other colleagues from our, our European partners um, to discuss the whole issue of climate migration again. Um, but we're delighted to welcome um, our speakers this afternoon. Um, I will introduce them um, one by one um, and they bring together quite different um, perspectives so we're, we're delighted to have them here this afternoon. Um, first of all, Dr. Cosmin Curandea, um, who's here, um, who joins us um, from the Institute for Environmental and Human Security, the UN University um, in Bonn. Um, and he has been working on a range of issues relating to human rights, environmental and refugee and migration law um, in climate change related cases uh, in particular. And his uh, professional experience includes field research in the Pacific, in Europe and Asia and consultancies for a range of different organisations um, and UN agencies. Our second speaker is um, Mr. Diego Quiroz Onate, um, who is from the Scottish Human Rights Commission, uh, but is originally from uh, Colombia. And uh, he uh, most recently has worked as an independent expert on human rights institutions for the European Commission's uh, mission to Turkey on questions around independence of the judiciary and fundamental rights. And he has been working in particular on issues relating to human rights law, migration, responsibilities of non-state actors under international law. And um, he will be talking to us in particular about uh, some of the very interesting initiatives that have been taking place um, in Scotland on climate change. Um, our third speaker is Mr. Oshin Coughlin, um, who is here with us um, from uh, Friends of the Earth Ireland. Uh, he's been director of Friends of the Earth Ireland uh, since 2005 and he heads the panel of representatives of the environmental pillar of social partnership um, on the National Economic and Social Council, NESC. Um, he previously uh, worked extensively uh, in overseas aid and human rights, uh, on overseas aid and human rights issues um, and he was elected to the Royal Irish Academy Committee for Climate Change Sciences uh, in 2009. Um, we will follow up the presentations with uh, an open Q&A and uh, discussion session um, which will be chaired um, by Doug. Uh, but I'm going to call first on Cosmin to open the seminar. Thank you. <laughs> 